Hi everybody, Wardenator here. It's Man Cave Saturday. It's Saturday, April 14th. And usually Saturdays are chill day, fish tank day. Um, yeah, I got my buckets out here. Went out and bought a protein skimmer. Um, tried running it on the salt water tank. It just kept fizzling over. And uh, so I'm going to try a few things with it first before I uh, put this on. Um, what I ended up doing to this aquarium. Now I've had a, a diatom bloom. This is to be expected. Um, I kind of shit at first when I first started getting it because uh, it was just a couple little brown spots. So one day it was just bang. And then within about uh, six to ten days... This is just brown. I had it all over the glass, like just you couldn't see through here. Water's cloudy, but well, look cloudy. I uh, gave the tank a cleaning, the glass, the inside a cleaning today. I went to the fish store, added some some new fish. Now I started a little early. I jumped the gun before the tanks fully, fully cycled out. Uh, I know probably everybody's probably gonna give me shit for that. Um, no, I didn't add all these guys today. I had a tang and two clowns in here for, for some time. And they're doing okay. Um, plus, when I picked them up, the guy at the fish store threw me those zoas there for free. Because uh, pretty much I just purchased this tank and a whole bunch of stuff off them. I spent uh, a couple grand with them anyway. Getting this thing started, so... Uh, yeah, he's hooked me up with, uh, I didn't really pay for my cleaning crew. He just threw these guys in. He threw those Zoas in for me. Um, I had originally the Tang, the Clowns, and the Zoa. And I bought a Hermit Crabber too. And then today I went to the store and I picked up this cool guy here. A firefish, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong guys and I have oh wait there he is Benny the Blenny I call him peeking over his head the reason why I call him Benny the Blenny is because my sister phoned me and offered me uh, one of those hairless cats and his name was Benny and I seen a picture of him and I wanted him really bad uh, I'm a huge animal guy I don't just do fish I've got my ratties over there, my rats, my buddies over there. Um, I have a dog, and uh, yeah, I wanted uh, I wanted a cat, and I got told no. The wife said no, no kitties. So I named. Oh, uh, well, I guess he's gone. My uh, my Blenny, I named him Benny because I wanted that cat, Benny. So Benny the Blenny, you're Benny. So uh, today what I ended up grabbing was uh, some frog spawn, um, a couple different types of brain coral, that one there, and that green frag. So uh, one, two, three, I'm just uh, going to let them sit here before I place them. Um, those zoas I placed, that's that's going to be their home. They're doing really well there. Um, everybody seems to be happy in here today. Now, I haven't even done the first water change on this. Um, I'm kind of giving it a little bit more time because after the diatom bloom, I think, uh, not last night, but the night before, I came home and I got this filter ready. So I'm running two canisters right now. I'm running this, uh, the CF500 UV. It's got a UV light in it. So if I need UV light, I can just turn on the switch there and run it with the light. And what it's doing is giving me more flow, and since I did the more flow and put more flow in here, uh, my surface has gotten a lot better because it was like scummy and gross. And then that's when I went out and bought myself a $300 protein skimmer, thinking that this was going to be some instant uh, relief from that, and it just ended up fizzling over because probably won't, for one, I'm using tap water, not RODI. And when I first set up this tank, 
I used a dechlorinator and that's probably still in the water so that's kind of why the that unit there keeps bubbling over and I don't know much about protein skimmers and things like that so uh, I'm kind of happy right now with the second filter in there I've got two canisters running in there, i got that CF500 UV and I'm running a Fluvo 406 uh, like I stated before in my other previous video so I feel I got a good setup here everything's running good, I got lots of flow in the tank and uh, I got my fish and this is the, this is the way things are going to stay for a while now, I'm not adding any more uh, this is about as much bile load as it's going to get for now so I would like to do my first water change tomorrow maybe I'll wait till those guys get settled in for today before I go start changing water parameters and stuff on them or uh, because I added that other filter I, I might let it go for another couple of days before I do it but everybody seems to be good I've been controlling feeding on this really well only feeding what they can eat I don't overfeed so there's really not much left over so pretty much my tang um, He'll grab a few pellets here or there, and then he likes to go and just nibble all this diatom bloom off here. And then I know it's backing off because this was all completely brown. Now uh, my cleaning crew has kind of cleaned this corner here. We still have some down here. There's still some on the rock here. This rock was super dark with it. Now it's starting to lighten up. Um, like I said, with the addition of a blenny, and. Uh, my guy hooked me up with a couple more uh, crabs, so he threw those in for free today too, so I got some, some more cleaners. Uh, Blue-eyed her hermit crabs. And uh, they seem to be doing a really good job of cleaning stuff up. And uh, yeah, everything's uh, slowly getting better here. So um, I was kind of debating either tomorrow, or maybe I'll let those guys settle in first. And then, uh, then I'll do the water change, it's first uh, water change. So I'm probably going to do about uh, three or four or five gallon pails worth out of here and replace it all. I have water ready to go that doesn't have dechlorinator in it. It is tap water, but it is sat overnight already for a period of 24 hours, so there should be no more chlorine in it. Um, there may be other stuff in there from my tap source, but uh, I'm not too worried about that right now. I'm a little hard-headed when it comes to things. Uh, people want to say RODI, you should be going with RODI. Uh, I've already spent a lot of money on this already, so I'm just trying to keep things to a dull roar right now. So I'll be using tap water until I get everything all settled out. And I know what I uh, have to do and figure out my expenses for this saltwater hobby. And then we'll start going RODI, or maybe I'll get one of those RODI kits where you do it yourself at home. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I've already spent quite a bit of money on this hobby as it is and uh, yeah, my wife will get a little bit more frustrated with me if I keep blowing money on this. I still have bills and shit to pay guys. But as it is, I'm having fun. I'm hooked and everybody knows what that's like. You're hooked. It's hard to stop spending money on this so I gotta give it... Uh, this has to be it for a while. So hopefully this is going to be my happy crew. Uh, this is probably about as much fish as I want in the system anyway. I really don't want a whole load of fish in here and a huge bio load. I do not need headaches and problems. I want this tank to be a very nice coral reef. And uh, I'm going to try to do my best that I can with it. And I'm going to be learning and probably hitting my head a lot with it too. So as long as everybody's out there willing to uh, help me out, maybe share some ideas I'm always open to suggestions and things like that so like I said uh, two three four five heads are always better than one so this is it guys this is the update on my tank um, she's doing good I'm keeping her clean uh, good filtration good flow and uh, I'm just gonna keep doing this like I said I'm still the Debating whether I want to do a change tomorrow or just let it go for a couple more days. Maybe uh, see how these diet diatoms finish out. Maybe let them bleed back a little bit more because they are starting to go away now. So uh, once they do, maybe then I'll do that. But um, like I said, 
I'm enjoying this. I'm hooked on this right now. I love these fish. My tang. I love this tang. That's like my favorite fish out of them all. I like everybody, but that's this guy here. This is the, this is my character. I love this guy. If I could pick this fish up out of the tank and hug it, I would. I don't know. I just love my fish. And here's my new additions of corals. And yeah, I'm just pretty stoked about all this. I love. It. I wish I would have gotten into this sooner. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming out, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll get back to you soon. Bye-bye.